All right, good morning, everyone. This will be INF 322 CyberOps. Um, hopefully you guys are in the right spot. So this course will be Monday, Wednesday, 9 to 1020, somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, we won't physically meet on Fridays. That'll be the day that you guys can do your lab work. So you can choose to come in here during that time. It's entirely up to you, or you can do your labs from home. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. Um, I will generally be available in my office if you have questions or something like that during that time, but um, we won't technically meet here on campus. Um, for you on campus guys um, and gals, we, in, in this class, I'll post it there on, on uh, Blackboard, but I won't require masks to, to start, so to speak. Um, if I'm informed that I have to, then, then I'll require masks. But, other than that, I don't intend to cover cover the mass policy stuff. Anybody have any questions on that part of it? I think we have plenty of space in here and realm and you guys can move apart. Even if we had to do that, we wouldn't necessarily have to go down that road. All right, so to get started, this class is intended for you uh, to probably be in your junior, senior year. You've taken some other core courses, hopefully taken uh, Internet Networking 1 and Linux at a bare minimum so that you're ready for this class and hopefully a couple of the others. Um, we will cover networking in this course. We'll cover back on Linux side of things. Uh, speaking of Linux, if you come out here to the learning modules section, um, you'll see a Linux refresher. We're gonna cover that here in just a little bit. We'll go ahead and pull up the syllabus. And we'll run through this real quick. Um, I think the top information's there. If you need to catch me in my office, I'll be in Hammond Hall room 143. I'm generally there from eight in the morning till uh, three in the afternoon, um, unless I'm in, in a class. So office hours wise, we're actually leaving it fairly flexible this year. So generally Monday through Thursday, I'll be available during those times in my office. Um, Friday, I can't always guarantee because there's things I have to do off campus with other students and such. All right. Um, as far as the weeks, you'll have the outline going through here. So this first week, we're just going through a Linux refresher. There's not going to be a bunch of stuff to do. Um, just getting you refreshed with Linux, especially if you didn't use it over the summer, because this course will heavily use Linux as you're going through the labs and everything. Um, then we'll go through these individual weeks. Um, as we get down here, week 13, I call it, you know, to be determined. It's basically a buffer week. So in the event something goes awry this semester, which we all know things can in a hurry, um, that's our buffer week. It, it'll give you extra time to do labs, extra time to do whatever. If we don't end up having to like move a week over because of COVID or something like that happening, um, then that will be just an extra week to get your guys' work done. It'll be a free week to do whatever. Um, we'll do a skills exam or a skills challenge on week 14, 15 that may get flipped around depending on how we end up laying it out. Um, the skills challenge will basically take all the course content that you've worked out throughout the entire semester, and it'll take you through a challenge and you'll have to go through and walk through kind of a skills based assessment at the end of the semester. It is, it'll basically cover pieces of individual labs all along the way, it'll be put together in a way where you have to follow through and grab all the information. Uh, similar to internet working one. Yep. And then the skills challenge, um, that's kind of just a, a fun game, so to speak, um, where you guys will all, you, you four in here, and then all the students that are in the virtual section, you guys will all compete against one another to try to get as many of the, the points that are in that particular game by solving different challenges within Linux and networking and things that you've done throughout the entire semester. So you have the skills-based exam, which is just you, you're doing yourself going through a lab. The skills challenge is just to see how you're competing amongst your peers. It doesn't really count for anything. I do give some extra points and things like that over the top, um, but it, it doesn't necessarily count for any part of your grade. At least at this point, we may change that. Um, last week is when we'll do the course feedback, the final review, and then do the final itself. Anybody have any questions on the schedule? Okay. Um, as you may have already seen, I am going to do Zoom sessions for this class throughout the entire thing. I'm just recording what's going on so that it's the same thing for the, the online students. I don't, that's the way I do all my classes. I record every single one of them. They get posted at the end. So if for some reason you miss class, 
you can go back and see what we did that day. And it'll be two recordings every single week. Um, I intend for at least you four to try to be here as much as possible. Um, don't rely on the Zoom meetings because there's extra stuff that we'll cover in here that we may not get necessarily on a Zoom session. Anybody have any questions with that? Okay. As far as the overall course, um, chapter labs, you guys are gonna have 40% of your grade. Chapter exams are worth 20. Skills exams worth 20 and the final exams worth 20. So uh, your labs are gonna be a huge portion of this class. And I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of labs with this class. So most of your time is gonna be a little bit of reading, but a lot of hands-on labs, a lot of hands-on skills. Um, the labs and the resources will all be available through Blackboard. They're gonna be through the NetLab system. So if you guys did Interneting one, or if you did the firewalls course with me, it's using the exact same lab system that you used at that point in time. Um, which means you can do them 24 seven, the whole semester, whenever you wanna do them. Um, other housekeeping here on the main link, this will be the link to join the Zoom. If you end up getting sick, especially you four, end up getting sick and you need to be home for quarantine or whatever else, you can still tune in and, and jump in during this time. Um, or you could go back and watch the recording, either one. All right, Linux Refresher. Um, this course is basically split into two. The first week is gonna be what's called Linux Refresher, which is just gonna take you through what's called Linux Essentials. Um, or I'm sorry, Linux Unhatched. And it just takes you through, it's a, it's a quick eight hour course, so to speak. So it only takes you a week, if that. Um, but the idea is just to get your refresh back into Linux and relearn the commands that are listed here. So um, these are the common commands that you're gonna be using throughout the course. You'll wanna make sure that you're at least familiar with them as we'll be using them in all of your labs. Um, to get access to this course, you simply click on this self-enroll link down here at the bottom. Um, most of you should all have a Cisco Netiquette account now because you should have taken Internet Working One. So you just log in with that uh, Cisco Netiquette account and then you can get enrolled in this course. When it comes up, you're gonna see something like uh, this one over here on the right, Linux Refresher, Linux Unhatched. That's when you go into, you launch the course. And once it's up, you can come down here to course content. And then you're gonna follow through these individual links over here on the left. You do get a live Linux virtual machine on the right. So you can test these commands as you're coming through and you can uh, kind of go through their little mini built-in labs. So as you're learning those different commands we talked about, you can test them live on a Linux machine on the right. Um, there's no grading for this. There is an exam that's available um, at the end down here. I will not use it for a grade, but if you wanna take it to make sure you understand everything in Linux, you're more than welcome to take it. Um, I think you can take it three times is, is what I have it open for. Uh, but again, it's not, it's not intended for a grade. It's purely intended for you to test yourself, make sure you're prepped and ready to go with Linux again. You guys have any questions on, on the Linux refresher? Okay. So just kind of follow through there, do the lab, do the links over here on the left. Once you're done, you can close it and you're good to go. In the course itself, the other one that you'll want to do is the CCNA cyber operations. This is where the bulk material of this course is gonna be out of. Um, so we will use Cisco Netiquette for all the content, but all the labs and everything else are gonna be in Blackboard and you'll see that out. Um, so when you click on this, you'll wanna follow these directions. This one doesn't have a self-enroll link. They don't make it available. So what you'll do is you'll go to Cisco Netiquette out here. You wanna make sure that you're logged out. May need to allow pop-ups evidently. Okay, on this main screen, you're gonna come down here and click on redeem seat token. You're gonna currently have a login. This is the login that you already have for Cisco Netacad. You throw in your email address, school ID, and this seat token. The seat token is available here on Blackboard. Click on the PDF find your name, make sure you redeem your seat token, please. Don't use somebody else's. There's no benefit to using somebody else's seat token. It's just purely to get you enrolled in the class. If you screw up and accidentally 
use somebody else's seed token, let me know so that we don't have issues with that other student. Once you get uh, redeemed, again, you're going to be able to log in. Um, it'll stick you directly in the course, and you're going to see this 322 cyber operations. You can launch your course. And then down here is where you're going to get access to the content and to the exams. And I'll go through and activate all the exams and all that content through here. As to what you do in each week, that all content will be listed out here on Blackboard. So you come out here, you're going to see week two once we get started next week. It's going to tell you exactly what to do. So on Cisco Netacad, you're going to read through these modules. You're going to take this exam. From Blackboard, you're going to review the PowerPoints, watch the class recording, which I'll release on, on a Blackboard for you guys here. You won't have to watch it. You are the class recording. And then there's going to tell you what labs are going to be due down here at the bottom. When we have labs, for these particular ones, these aren't necessarily hands-on NetLab labs. They're going to take you to go do some extra content, class activities, things like that. So you'll click on this link. It's a .doc format, and then you can submit it. So when you click on this link, you'll browse, submit that Word doc back to me, um, and you should be good to go at that point. When we get to the NetLab labs, um, you're going to see those. They're going to look something like about week four, you should have some. There you go. You'll see this module five labs. You'll see these here. Inside is going to be a Word document. You download the Word document so that you can fill that out when you do this link up above. So the first link is going to take you out to the NetLab system. You're going to go ahead, walk through and make a reservation. We'll do a video on that once we get to the first semester that, or the first class period that uses those. Um, but once you have that up and then at the bottom there, whoops, I clicked too far out. In any of these, you'll have the labs. There'll be two things in there. The first one takes you to the lab. The second one is the Word document. Fill out the Word document as you go. Submit that back to Blackboard. Just click on the link, browse file, click on your saved file and be done. And that'll be for all the ones. There will be some extra labs in there. So when it says optional labs, it's entirely up to you if you want to do them. Um, but the ones that are listed are the ones that are required. Again, at the beginning of every single week, it's going to tell you specifically what needs to be done in the overview side. All right. Anybody have any questions over that? Good question. So as far as due dates in this class, everything is Sunday at midnight. So you have all the way through till Sunday at midnight. If for some reason you're going to be late on an assignment, I understand things happen. You're in college. That's fine. Email me ahead of time. Don't wait till 1150 on Sunday night to email me. Um, email me ahead of time. Then you know something's going to be up. That's perfectly fine. I'll give you permission or whatnot, and we'll talk about it in the email, and then you can submit those at a later date. I am flexible as long as you email me ahead of time. It's as simple as that. I'm one of those instructors. Don't be afraid throughout the entire semester. Come and ask me a question. If something's going on, whether it's personal or school related, whatever, and you need more time or something's going on, if you don't come talk to me, I can't help you. But if you come talk to me, 99% of the time, I'll grant extensions. I'm not going to be hard and fast on, on assignments, so to speak. The only reason I try to stay hard and fast on assignments is to get them graded timely and get them back to you. So if I grant extensions, then I wait till the end of that extension on whatever student that was to grade all the homework assignments. So in fairness of everybody in the class, I try not to grant that too long so that we can get them graded and back to you. If you guys ever have issues with the exams, if you submit the wrong assignment in the wrong spot for whatever reason, you grab the wrong document or whatever, email me so I can clear that attempt. Don't email me the Word document. I can't submit it to Blackboard for you. So we'll clear the attempt on Blackboard and we'll resubmit it on top of that. Morning. Anybody have any questions about the course? You guys ready to go for the semester? You guys look super excited to be back in college. No? Don't worry. I understand how that first day is. <laughs> don't, don't worry about that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end this recording.